Cindy E Eats. I'm Cindy. Hey. Amen, amen, amen. If this is your first time joining me, thank you for stopping by. And if you've been here before, welcome back. Welcome back to my aunties, my OGs, my cousins, my brothers, my nieces, my nephews, and everybody in between. Come, we got McDonald's. What do we have? An app meal. The app meal is six dollars. You can get a Big Mac, make double double cheeseburger, which is literally the same sandwich, okay? Or, yeah, for six bucks, I chose the Big Mac. I was sitting there in the drive thru waiting for my food. The fries ain't super hot, but they salted. And I take salted over super hot and no salt. This meat is super duperty fresh and hot. This guy coat is drunk. If you ain't guessed it, today is Monday. Yes, I have on a bonnet and sunglasses, and yes, I'm outside. Sis was tired today. Ooh. Ooh. I slept. So might as well say I slept 12 o'clock today. It was a long one, y'all. It was a long one. I was up past 12 last night. I was up by... Um, 5 15 this morning i just don't understand how they want you to pay five dollars a sandwich and they give you this this piece of meat i ain't eat mcdonald's unless it's uh off the app baby if i ain't getting something free or discounted i ain't eating mcdonald's for sure for sure Let me wipe my window. I mean, my doors. I'll be up early anyway. My daughter dropped my key, her kids off to go work in the morning. She got to be work at six, so she dropped them off at like five something in the morning. I lay back down. But I don't really go back to sleep because within an hour, 45 minutes, 30 minutes later, I have to wake Lauren up for her to go to school by 6.30. Get her ready for school. And her and Natalie want breakfast in the morning. And I'm talking about they want breakfast. In the last couple of days, I've been giving Natalie hot dogs because she eat hot dogs. Lauren don't eat hot dogs. Put hers in the microwave for a minute. Lauren like hash browns. Put hers in the um, air fryer for 15 minutes. I can put those in there, walk away. Wrap it up in the house towel, send them on their way. This morning, Natalie going to say, Why we got to have the same thing? Why we can't have nothing different? Like what? I want hash browns. This girl don't eat french fries, hash browns, mashed potatoes, baked potatoes. She don't eat it. Y'all so probably get up and fix them some sausage and the eggs in the morning. Now watch y'all steer during the daytime. After they get out the house for school, I wake him up to go to the bathroom because he potty trainer. And go to the bathroom all asleep. 
let him back down. Sometimes I go back to sleep and sometimes I don't. Today, since we're back to sleep, I'm usually up by 9, 9.30, you know, late until o'clock. Today, I woke up about like 9. Mm. Sweet 9.30 and 9.45. I took y'all still to the bathroom. He stayed asleep. He ain't stayed. He ain't wake up. He seen my tablet on the bed and picked it up. I'm talking about eyes still closed. Then he about to watch his tablet. Nope. He went right back to sleep. And guess what? So did I. I got Ms. Nisi meal in the refrigerator, okay? I got steak. I got the asparagus. I got the baked, not baked, but I have a sweet potato. I got it. But I just came from picking Lauren up from off the bus. Cause I go get her from the bus. I'll get over there about 2.30. This is tired today. Sis tired today. And I'm trying to figure out why I'm so tired, but I kind of know why I am. And finally feeling back together. From my eye. Because mind y'all. That pain was tremendous. I really wasn't sleeping, sleeping. I was kind of worried. I told y'all if it was something behind my eye, or if it was because of my blood pressure. So I didn't really get good rest, and it caught up with me today. I started catching up with me on Friday, y'all. So I told you. Khalid come over there and drop her kids off at like 5 something in the morning. I ain't even hear her knocking on Friday. I ain't hear her knock one time. She woke me up coming in my room to drop uh, Yasir off in the bed. Sis was sleep. Hard too. Mm, this sandwich done feel completely in disarray. And I gotta go to uh, women's prayer for today. I didn't go last week. I ain't go to Bible. I ain't go to women's prayer. I ain't go to Bible study. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. And I ain't gonna um a prayer meeting on Friday, the first of my prayer. That's how bad I was, my hours hurt. I'm still having to get up and do all that stuff Monday through Friday. That's a job. That's a job. I wasn't even you know, read my Bible like I was. I need. I needed to. I went in. I was still praying. I'm still praying. But read my Bible. Writing in my journal. Cause I talk to God that way too. Writing in my journal. My prayers in my journal. Putting out how I feel, you know what I'm saying? Just a journal. That's how bad I was hurting. And I really didn't start to feel okay until that Friday.
them kids was getting on my nerve. Because Lauren thinks she lived there half the time. Natalie was being extra hard-headed. Excuse me. I had a time. And to be honest, it used to be when I'd be like, beat myself up so bad. Because I didn't do the stuff that I normally do. But sometimes you have to rest. And in those rest periods, you got to give yourself grace. You got to give yourself grace. I'm not going to be, I, I wouldn't have been able to go to women's prayer group. I pray for nobody, not even myself, and all that pain. I wasn't gonna be able to sit there and focus on the the word and try to be cordial and nice to other people in women's prayer or in Bible study on Wednesday. Sometimes it's okay to break for you. Give yourself grace, especially when you show up every time. Every time, it's okay to give yourself grace. You're not taking a break from God. You're just taking a break from people. Catching up on your rest. And that is fine. If you're not, or let me say, if I'm not at 100%, I'm not going to be able to give 100%. And that's okay, too. It's okay to rejuvenate, recuperate. I'm okay. And I just told somebody today. And this job I get, I'm taking my time off. I'm taking my time off. I ain't gonna keep pushing through because you know I'm trying to conserve and save. That's what they there for. To use. And sis gonna use it. The last job I had, they literally said, we don't want you to take Mondays off. It's been the weekend, you know, it's kind of busy. So, you know, we, we really need everybody here. And this has come from management. And while I was there, I watched management not come in on Mondays. Be late on Mondays. But you don't want nobody else to be late or come or come or not come in on Mondays? How sway? No. Mondays is for business. Just the way you got business, other people got business. If I'm going to take a day off, it's definitely going to be a Monday. It's definitely going to be a Monday each and every time. Weekends fly in the blink of an eye. I want to be y'all for Monday. You don't get no real rest when you take out Fridays. Because you feel like, oh, it's Friday. Let me go out and do something. Mondays, you want to rest, and sis want to rest on a Monday.
Cause that's what she getting ready to do. Until woman's prayer. I see you start. Hmm. What time is it? Four o'clock. It's gonna take me 10 minutes to get home. I'm gonna sleep for a good hour and then I'm gonna go to one spray. But I'm gonna have to do something to my hair because I can't wear a body in there. Well, you know what time it is. I'm gonna leave you with three things before I go. Very first one, let you know. God loves you. Number two. So do. Um, number three, the reason I show up each and every time. It's just for your view and pleasure. I just realized I left my sunglasses on the entire time. My sister said my eyes are real black. And then he is. I'm gonna work on that. But let me show y'all what my hair look like. I washed it on Sunday, it was cuter. I slipped over to the side. What I look like? The man from The Simpsons. This is why I keep my sunglasses on. Even that little bit of sun, cause it is cloudy out here. That little bit of sun be messing with my eyes. SpongeBob with side side show Bob. That's who I look like in the head. But y'all don't get ready to change my hair again. I just gotta get I gotta talk somebody into doing what I wanted them to do. But I'm getting ready to change my hair again. I'm getting ready to change my hair again. Peace, good people. Peace, good people. And I got an idea or two. And I just need two people to be in prayer with me. That God confirms this and gives me the guidance I need to see it through. In Jesus' name, amen.